everybody. Welcome to the Bay Area, San Jose, California. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. People have been buzzing around this arena all afternoon. Here we are, finally ready to drop the puck. Playoff games are different from the moment you wake up in the morning till the final horn goes off. So much fun. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Handles the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Into the attacking area from the left side. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. And now he tries to get it across to McDavid. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Couldn't complete the play. LeBanc's gonna play it against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Quick pass to Yamamoto. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Moves it to Hurdle. From the slot, fires away. And a strong effort on that play. Takes the pass. Edmonton's looking to break out. Along the half wall with the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And he's ridden off the puck. Grabbed along the boards by LeBanc. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call and tries to make a diagonal pass to Meyer. Couldn't connect on that pass. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. The Sharks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. This has been a pretty tightly played game, but now they've earned the game's first power play. So they've got an opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Start with an offensive zone face-off and a chance to get out in front. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Quick feed to Marlowe. A chance from the slot. Misses wide of the net. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Kara. Puck slid down the ice. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. From the slot, wrist shot, connect on the power play. That looked like a well-thought-out play. They moved the puck quickly, found the open man, and it's in the net. This is actually a pretty difficult deep. Going to the forehand every time is hard. Over to his forehand side, and he has to get it past the goaltender. It's a good move. The Sharks take a 1-0 lead here early in this first period. What a way to crank up the crowd. You get yourself on the board early. San Jose's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it diagonally to Neal. Puck exits the zone. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're going to slash somebody, don't slash them in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called up for that almost every time. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. They've been trying to push for the tying goal. Now they're going to get an opportunity on the power play. Fires it on net, and that's blocked away. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. The Oilers played along the wing. Scooped up along the wall by Middleton. Edmonton's got the puck against the wall. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. 
Here they come inside the neutral zone and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Oilers take possession of the neutral zone. Edmonton's in now. Moves it quickly over to Turris. And that goes off course wide. Dubnik's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Makes the save. Dubnik's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The Sharks maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. You work so hard to get yourself back in the game, you earn a power play, and then you fail to cash in. So they still trail by one. The game will continue at even strength. Quick pass to Kane with possession along the wall. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Barry. Up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Neal's working it around in the corner. Quick feed down low. Centered out in front with the stop. And they can't connect. The Oilers played along the boards. Taken along the wall by Meyer. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Dubnik's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And now he moves it to chase on. And he slides it quickly to Cassian. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabs control of it at the point. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Kara. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Nurse is off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Uh, you see he hangs his head and heads towards the penalty box. It's always a frustrating penalty to take. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Sharks have it against the wall. Through center along the wing. Move to the middle. Shot in front. Nothing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Dumps it in. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Sharks move it ahead. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Now, what a tough break for the goaltender. This thing's just shoveled towards the net somehow. And as it's bouncing around, the goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of it. Now he's got to fish it out from behind him. San Jose's had this game circled on the calendar for a while, and they came ready. You can circle it, you can think about it, but then you got to execute. This has been a fantastic start. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. 
The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. And now it's over to Yamamoto. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Jones. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. Yamamoto's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And now he tries to get it across. Takes it across the blue line. And here comes the judgment from the official. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the pocket. He gets his stick caught in their feet. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Yamamoto. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Donato. Maintains possession. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Yamamoto. Taken by Puyo Yarvi. Jabs the puck away. Takes the shot. And that one's stopped. Here in the back half of this period, the Sharks are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Blocker saved by Dubnik. Sharp reaction save. Puck scooped up by Puyo Yarby. Denied by the goaltender. Puppy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Edmonton's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. The Oilers win the draw. Here's the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. The centermen glide into position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. Four! Out! Edmonton's bench has a collective groan here. That shot hits the post and stays out. They're trying to work their way back. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, Smart heads up play to poke that one away. Takes the feed. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Manages to hang on. Sent into the offensive zone. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to LeBanc. Moves the puck. Hurdles got it in the offensive end. Works it across to Ennis. The Oilers take it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The Oilers continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Nosen. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Great stick save by Dubnik. And another stop. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And now he angles it across to Nieto. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And it's a quick pass to Cassian. The Oilers play it along the boards. Pokes the puck away. 
Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Receives the pass. Here's a slot, and the puck skips off the glove. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Puck grabbed by Donato. Puts it on net and makes the save. Moves the puck up to Dreisaitl. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Sends it in deep. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends the pass over. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Can't connect. The Sharks are on the attack. Slides it across. And that one's blocked. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it up front. Snap. Oh, what a big time stop by Dubnik. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Dubnik's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Here in the late goings of the period, San Jose's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. McDavid's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denied that one. Still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Denied by the goaltender. The setters will glide into the dot. Scores won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Centered out in front. Oh, what a save with the stick by Koskinen. Oh, and another big stop. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Now a quick pass to Vlasic. Slides the puck over. San Jose's got it along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. I love saving road hockey, the old blocker stop. The Sharks will go to work here in the offensive zone. And there's the save. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Koskinen. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. his own face off and he wins the draw from one point man to another couldn't connect although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with no oh, denies him with the save i think he got the blocker on it the first period is all said and done with as the horn sounds san jose's practicing what they were preaching before this one they wanted to get off to a good start they were saying at the morning skate they do just that leading to nothing Fans, time for tonight's Lucky Row giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's team. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Dubnik's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. 
And a poke check knocks the puck away. Came up with the save on that play. The Oilers haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Over the line they come. The Sharks have it from their own end. San Jose's moving it up the ice. Moves it to Hurdle. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Bears taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the call from the official. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Dreisaitl's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot and makes the save. Dubnik's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Clearing attempt. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Yamamoto's got it along the boards. Shot from the wall. Denies him with the save. Grabbed along the boards by Puyo Yarvi. Wrists one. Great reflexes. Another save. Yeah, you have pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Dubnik's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. Lots of time left in this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Sends it across. That pass goes a little sideways. Stop that one. The Oilers have had more scoring opportunities to this point, but they continue to trail early in this second period. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the offensive zone. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Neal's moving the puck through his own zone. Driving right to the front. Dismiss that chance. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Near the point. And now it's grabbed by Couture. Quick feed to Meyer. Puck picked up by Couture. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Neal. Feeds the puck to Meyer. San Jose's got it against the boards. And the puck leaves the zone. Moves it quickly over to Middleton. Here they are on the attack. And they fail to go tape to tape. No room for that one to get through. Chase Sun's caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. The Oilers take it along the wing. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Couture's going off for hooking. This is why coaches are always on you to keep your feet moving. As soon as you stop, now you have to reach out and try and slow your opponent down. Another chance here on the man advantage. Haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, but when they jumped over the boards to come out for the draw, they were huddled together, having a little meeting to make sure they're on the same page. Strong defensive effort. Trying to get it down the ice. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Quick pass to Turris. Moves the puck along the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. They clear the zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tries to get it over to Yamamoto. To his teammate. 
From point blank, special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. Edmonton's got one back, finally all that effort has paid off. The coaches have been telling them, stay at it, stay at it. And finally, with all the possession time they've had, they get rewarded. Scored on the power play by number 98. Taken by Sorensen. Misses a golden opportunity there. Can't find his man. The Oilers take over on possession. He settles things down and gets control of it once again. From the slot, turns it away. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Donato's won the draw. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Sorensen's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Burns. Pass to Sorensen. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Shimmick. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a chance, and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Scooped up along the wall by Jason. Quick feed to Russell. Couldn't make that one happen. I seems the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one. But, hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. It's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal. But they still trail in the second. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Golden opportunity until the stick snaps. That's not an opportune time for that to happen. Sends it over to Hurdle. Neal's back in the zone. He was able to get a new stick from the bench. He scores! And look who it is! Who delivers? Oh, it's the young guy. They don't really expect that your young guys are going to carry your team. But he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. The Sharks have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. By number 60. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Ferraro. Colonel's gaining momentum. Knocked around but keeps it going. Moves it quickly over to Ferraro. Here's a shot right out the side of the net. And that one's turned away. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. San Jose's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Centering pass in front. Scores! Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Goalie gets a little bit of this, almost beat cleanly, but it's not going to matter. It's in the net anyway.
San Jose's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. Quick pass to Barry. Scored by number seven. Pokes it away in his own end. Gains the zone through the middle. On the attack along the boards. Kind of lost control back in there, but regains possession. Moves it to Yamamoto. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. The Sharks look to start the transition game. San Jose's moving it along the wing. Moving into the attacking zone. Quick feed to Meyer. Comes up with the stop. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. The Sharks' offense on full display tonight. What impresses you the most? Well, the varied way that they score. I mean, they have just dominated this game. I love the way that they've attacked the net. Picked up along the wall by Puyo Yarvi. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Smart defensive play there. Edmonton's on the attack. Off his stick! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. From one end of the blue line to the other. Here's a short pass to Meyer. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. Caught him just as he was picked up. He's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane and... You end up tripping them up. The Sharks send their man advantage unit out once more. They've been successful on the power play already, James. So now you get another opportunity. Do not relax. Go pile it on and get another one. Made the stop on that play. Meyer's been on fire lately. His point streak starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. The Oilers have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Blocked in front. Headman pass. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And he takes a shot wide of the net. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Taken along the wall by Couture. The Sharks take it along the wall. Stays with it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Gets in front of it. And they can't convert to the play. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. And he's off to the box holding the call. He's got a fistful of the other guy's sweater. I don't think there's much complaint here. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Even a little different, even if there's just one player missing on each team. Defensive responsibilities are different. There's different attack angles. Got to communicate here on the four-on-four. -on -four. And manages to clear the zone. The Oilers will get some fresh legs out on the ice on this man advantage here. And that pass goes awry. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Getting into the later stages of this period, San Jose's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. The Sharks have dominated possession. They've dominated the scoreboard. This has been a perfect start for them. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Picked up along the boards by Puyo Yarvi. Comes out to play the puck. 
from their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone from the right side. San Jose's got the puck shorthanded, and they manage to clear it. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And they can't finish that one. No, oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. Oh, another good penalty kill for them, James. They've done the job start to finish when they've been shorthanded. Musa quickly over to Neal. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. McDavid's got to be the lead dog here. I, there are times when a captain can be just one of the leadership group, but when you're down by this much, you've got to show the guys that the game can't end. You have to play hard still. And now he moves it to LeBanc. Couldn't complete the play. The Oilers take it across the line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Oilers have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. San Jose's won the draw. Quick pass to Nosen. Here's an odd man rush. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 you won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Moves it to Nosen. And that goes off a player. Here's a shot. He tips it up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. And now it's over to Ennis. And we'll get a face-off as the puck goes out of play. Here in the later stages of this period, San Jose's got a 5-1 lead. They've been on cruise control all night. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. And now he tries to get it across to Neal. Unable to reach that one. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Denies him in front. The Sharks are in transition. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Nice zone entry on the left side. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Puts it towards the net. Oh, what a stop. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Nurse is moving it ahead. Booming shot, and he stands tall in goal. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team website. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports.
Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? San Jose's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Burns plays the puck. Right up front. Can't connect. Off the post. The Sharks continue to hold control of the game, but this could be a lot more comfortable if they weren't so unlucky around the net. Pugliarvi's going to get two for hooking on the play. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Power play unit going back to work. Every once in a while, you get a full moon and a great power play. They're having it tonight. Everything is going their way. Big save. Puck scooped up by Koskinen. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Lots of time left in this period. Too much to not enough. It's 5-1. San Jose's won the draw and they'll go to work. Lays out to block it. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Sharks have it behind the cage. Takes the bank feed. What a one-pass breakout that is. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And now he moves it quickly to Kara. Here's the pass. Snapper from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. The Oilers have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kara. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. Quick feed to Turris. That pass doesn't go. Nice pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a chance. And that banks off a stick. Another stop by the goaltender. No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. Dubnik's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. The Oilers have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Whistle blown as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Sharks have been all over them tonight. 5-1 is where we sit. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. And he comes up with the save. And the puck's thrown it away. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Stick save by Dubnik. Quick snap. Denies him again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. They get it out of the defensive end. The Oilers have it behind the net. Gets it over to Dreisaitl. Slides it across to Neal. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Maintains possession with the stop. Here's a short pass to Donato. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Sharks kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. That's another penalty kill for them. They have done a tremendous job this evening killing penalties. At no point have they looked overly stressed. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Picks it up. Here we go. Nothing doing on that. Keeps hold of the puck. Neal stick handling in his own zone. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. Nugent Hopkins is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Let's see the call here. 
The Sharks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. He's fishing around, trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. And the officials stop the play as that one goes into the bench. 54 seconds. The Oilers still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Sharks have possession shorthanded. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Directs it on over to Turris. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Moves it quickly over to Couture. Slides it across. A shot. Stones him with the blocker. Pinned up along the boards. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. The Oilers take it across the blue line. Let's it go! Makes the save. Dubnik's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Sharks lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. One last rush here on this power play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The officials signaling for a penalty as play is called. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Too often a five on three is not as dangerous as it should be because the guys are looking for the perfect play. Every time you have a man advantage, you have to have in your mind, you have to outwork the penalty killers. And the puck clears the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. From the point, looks to make something happen. Quick pass to Turris. Oh, the blocker was right there to come up big by Dubnik. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Gains the zone through center. Excellent stick work on the play. Beery's got the puck along the wing. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. The Sharks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here they come. Centered out in front, and they can't connect. A chance in front, and they can't convert to the play. Turn that chance aside. Dead center, excellent save. San Jose's PK unit comes up clutch. While the power play hasn't worked, they're going to have to look at all kinds of options here if they get another one. Maybe change the people that go out on the power play. I often wonder what the coach thinks when he's walking behind the bench, James. I think he's just looking for new players. Edmonton's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Hurdles won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. The Oilers have it against the wall. Big time save with the blocker. Big stop by the keeper. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Hurdles swooping in on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Sends a pass over with the stop. Hurdles got it from the back of the cage. Moves it to Bear. Edmonton's in transition. Sends it in on the attack. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Oilers have played the puck from behind the net. And he slides it quickly to Nurse. Takes a wrist shot, glove save. Oh, quick reflexes on the play. 
can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Up along the wing. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends it over. No one home on that play. Kara's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. When you've already scored on the power play and you get now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Puck for by Turris. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. With possession along the wall. Sends it across. Turned aside with a glove by Dubnik. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. It's a 5-1 hockey game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck to McDavid. Steps inside. Good defensive stop. Check. McDavid's got the puck. Centering pass. Takes a shot. And that one's stopped. There's another stop. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left side, they gain the zone. Numbers. Stones him in front. The Oilers fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Both will have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Tosses it on to Shimmick. Edmonton's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Meyer. San Jose's looking to break out. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And now he angles it across to Barry. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And it's kicked away. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Oh, what a move! Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Moves it quickly over to Yamamoto. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Here's a short pass to Larson. And now he moves it to Dreisaitl. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Man, he's been diving and dodging all over the net all game long. He couldn't be much busier. He's been terrific as well. In the final moments of this period, 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Penalty coming up here. A little too, little too late, and I'm sure some people in this building would have wished the clock would have just run out. The Sharks have been handed two minutes for hooking. A uh, step, a step and a half out of position, and you get called reaching out to try to slow your opponent down. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. And he denied that opportunity. Dubnik so sharp on this. Reads the play. Reads the play. Save. Here's a chance to get it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Hangs onto the puck. Takes that one right in the logo. 
Dubnik's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. The Oilers are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. The setters will glide into the dot. Takes possession off the draw. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. Looking to break out here on the power play. In the, third the Oilers game. move it in. To his teammate. Can't catch up to the pass. Denied by the goaltender. The Oilers gain control of it. Blocked in traffic. He scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. Edmonton's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. The Sharks move it ahead. And now it's over to Hurdle. Here's the pass. A chance in front. Denies him. High quality chance, high quality save. Quick pass to LeBanc. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Save made by the goalie. Bumpy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Edmonton's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. What a steal in his own end. Tries to get the puck to Cassian. And now it's grabbed by Chason. Nice poke check. And now he tries to get it across to Cassian. And that's picked off in front. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a chance and makes the save. Koskinen's able to make the save as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The centermen glide into position. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Makes the save and put it out the fire in front. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. It's been back and forth all series long, and here we sit after four games all evened up. These guys must feel, James, like they've run into the wall four straight days. <laughs> no kidding. And nothing's accomplished. The wall's still in the same place. Now it's become a short series. This has been intense. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sobolski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.